Okay, so we're making these parts. These are the bottom plates that go into our vacuum chucks. We look in here and we get a good shot. Uh, here is a, a part picker. So we load up a stack. I'm gonna open this. We load up a stack of about, oh, I don't know, 10 or 12 parts. And then the part picker goes in and it's picking up parts. Here we go. First thing it does is it blows off the top of the part, the finished part, and then deploys the vacuum cup. And it's also simultaneously turning off the vacuum to the chuck. Then it brings it over to the finished part stack. Now the air gun is holding down the part with air while the vacuum cup retracts. Now it's coming over to the vacuum chuck, blowing it off. And that's just a 914 model, 9.5 by 14 inch wide model. And with a, uh, um, a customizable top plate. These are all off the shelf products that we're using. You can see we've cut it with the gasket groove to match our part shape. Now it's coming over to the raw part stack, blowing it off again, deploying the vacuum cup. And notice how it's going all the way to the bottom. That's so that it can reach the last part in the stack. We don't need to program different Z heights. Now it's placing it on the chuck. It's turning on the vacuum chuck and then uh, doing that handoff, uh, vacuum cup turns off. And then it's simply changing to the first tool on the top of the program and looping this whole cycle for uh, 10 or 12 parts.